What is up everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild and as many of y'all know we have had a very big update here just yesterday and it is a fantastic update. I love the new guns, they are amazing, uh, especially the 308. Um, the 223 is good but I just feel 223 rounds are a little underpowered but that's just my opinion, whatever. The 22 is nice, I wish it had more in it but it's pretty sweet the recoil on all these guns is a whole lot less which really is nice i like that so it's going to be a very good update overall the only thing that i don't like is the changes to the metal icons the gold needs to be a little bit brighter and the diamond needs to be filled in completely um the great one metal looks great the bronze metal looks fine and the silver looks fine but the gold looks too much like the bronze and needs to be a little bit shinier and the diamond could stand to be filled in completely. But other than that, this update is fantastic. I love it. I hope y'all are enjoying it. Um, let me know what y'all think of it down below. Also, for those of y'all who know, yes, I am kind of couch bound right now. Um, I tore a ligament in my knee the other day skiing. So I'm kind of stuck on the couch for the next month or so. So we're going to have to see how all that plays out in the end. Uh, mess me up for baseball, but other than that, I'll be all right. So we're figuring things out right now. So let's go ahead and take a shot with this guy. And I'm fairly impressed because on console, it's very hard to get centered back on your target. So that it makes it kind of tough. Um, it's always harder on console because PC, you can just drag the mouse but on console, it is very difficult. I am liking this, though, already. These guns are super accurate. And we can go ahead and use the 22. Look how little the recoil is on this gun. Now, mind you, it is a 22. So there's no doubt that it's going to be very little recoil anyway. But even the 308 had little bit, little bit of recoil. Um, I, honestly, I actually want to do something. I would like to kind of compare the 308 to the M1. And actually, before we do that, I forgot. We need to take a shot with the uh, 223. So let's go on ahead and get down with this 223. This is probably my least favorite looking of the guns, but it is pretty unique still. And I do like it. So it does sound pretty cool. And all these guns sound really nice. I love the sounds on them. They did a really good job with that. So, overall, let's just take a look at some of the fire rate. And just, I'll just hold it like this. And we can just kind of. That is so good. Oh, I love that. That is great. And go ahead and take a look at the 22. I mean, just ridiculous. And then take a look at the 308. And God, that gun sounds so good. But not bad at all. Let's actually do one more thing. I want to compare the 308 to the M1. And I want to try out the 22 Hornet. Because the 22 Hornet got a buff the other day with this update. And I'm really interested to see how it works now. Also, console now has the 270 Warden. So that is a thing as well. Let's find the common 22H and the M1 Harmonic, and let's see how these guns do comparatively. So if we go ahead and throw the 308, 308's already there, so M1, oh, ah, blast it, I messed that up, oh well, whatever. So we'll go ahead and... Put the bullets in these. We need that there. 30-06. There we go. Now let's get our sights on. Bingo. And there we go. Now we're good to go. So we saw what the fire rate looks like for the AR. I'll go ahead and just show it again. But just kind of pretty fast fire rate. I'm impressed with that. But let's take a look at the M1 and see what we've got. 
definitely slower. A lot, lot slower. Okay, that's neat. Also, um, I would like to test the recoil difference on the two. So, here we go right here. This is what the Argus so recoil looks like a lot. And it takes us kind of up there. Okay. Let's see what we got. And... Yeah. Okay. So, I kind of have an idea of where it's going now. But let's take a look with the M1. Ooh. That is definitely more recoil. It's a little more of a violent up. Like, the, the 308 goes up a little bit slower. It still goes up a similar different uh, distance, but it goes up slower. So, I like that. A little bit less recoil on that. And then let's uh, check out the 22 Hornet. And, yes, I think, is that a new sound? I think that's a new sound. I'm pretty sure that's different, because originally I was using the 270 sound, and I think that is a new sound now. So that is pretty sweet. And from what I have heard, this gun um, has been working very good on the animals now. It can even take Class 3 animals about as fast as the 223 does. So I'm happy to hear that. So even though it's not technically rated for uh class three animals it still does the job fairly well and i am looking forward to using this gun and might even incorporate it in my loadout a little bit more than i will the zarza uh 22 so overall i am really looking forward to this update we kind of got to do a general test of the guns a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison of the m1 and the 308 so let me know what you guys are thinking of this update i know i'm because I don't have a whole bunch of time to do stuff, I don't really have a lot of time to go hunting right now, but hopefully we will have more of that here in the next week or so. We'll kind of explore our own maps a little bit and check out and see what we've got. Um, hopefully, who knows, maybe we'll have an initial spawn great one on either Mississippi, Rancho, or Quacho. So that would be really, really nice, and I am looking forward to doing that. So, with all that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you all are having a great time with this new update. Let me know what you think about it down below. What do you th wish that EW had done differently? What do you like that they've done? And what are you looking forward to in the future? So, with all that said, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time.